Hi everyone. Um, I'm here to show you a little bit about JSDoc. Uh, JSDoc is a project that uh, is meant to uh, be like a, a standard for you to document API uh, things uh, in JavaScript. Uh, it could be functions, it could be classes, it could be uh, parameters, uh, uh, whatever. You, you can document anything. Um, it first was supposed to be only like a, a tool for documenting APIs on JavaScript, uh, but uh, currently it's, it's more used like an, uh, a TypeScript without TypeScript for your uh, code editor. Um, it works like this, you put, uh, and it works out of the box with uh, most uh, code editors, uh, modern code editors. Um, so it works like this, you just put uh, a comment, uh, for example, here I have a function with uh, three uh, parameters and I want to document what this function does. Uh, what parameters it, it receives, what it returns, um, an example on how to use it. I just put a, a comment above what I'm trying to, to write the documentation about. Um, and auto automatically my code editor will recognize it almost like a TypeScript thing. Um, so if you pass the wrong values or you, you're you not passing the required arguments or the return uh, data is wrong, uh, your editor will scream at you. So in practice, it works like this. I have a function here that returns a real complex object here. This is uh, an action for a uh, Redux project. So it, it, it's, it's going to be complicated. Uh, so how would I document this? So uh, I already did it. So I'm just going to paste, paste it here. <laughs> um, so you see I, I put um, a comment here. Uh, I wrote what the function is about what it does. It returns an action that fetches the welcome message uh, from the backend. Uh, it receives one parameter, which is uh, of the type string, and it's called current message, and it returns this. So, just just from me pasting this, uh, my editor here just put the the type annotation for me. So. Uh, just by writing a comment, I have uh, most of the good things about type safety uh, from TypeScript. Well, at least in my opinion, of course, if it, it won't have like a compiler that errors out if you don't match the types, but at least your uh, your code editor will uh, will scream at you if you do something wrong. Same thing, um, oh, for example, if uh, the return data here, uh, I have a type uh, request is a string. If I put like 42 here, uh, my code editor starts uh, complaining about, well, you're returning the wrong type. Um, depending on the code editor, it will even uh, tell you, well, do you want to update your documentation? And if I click here, you see that it updates requests to a number and it stops uh, complaining about that. Of course, I won't do that because it makes no sense. But I'll show you what, what happens when you're using this function. So I have a component here that uses this function and you see that it's already complaining. It's, uh, it's already telling me that I, I've, I'm doing something wrong here. And the, Wrong thing is that it expects a number of arguments uh, of one and I passed nothing to it. 
and if I pass for example a number um, it still it still complains that the type not number is not assignable to the type string so it, it will only stop if I put a string here or if I pass a value that uh, is a string so yeah that helps a lot uh, because you don't need to change your toolset, you don't need to change the way you're compiling or building your application. You just need to add a comment and it works. Um, on VS Code, it's a little bit different. Uh, I know that a lot of people use VS Code, so I, I, I'm giving you this, uh, this little <laughs> anecdote here. Uh, when I first used it, this this JS doc thing with VS Code, it didn't complain about the typings uh, because you need to manually put like a settings thing as true there. It's this one. Uh, I think it's it's a little bit different nowadays, but it but it uh, tells you what what you need to put. Um, as long as you do this, as long as you go into VS Code and open settings as JSON and put this here, um, it will use the TypeScript um, engine to check the types on JavaScript code. So yeah, it, it will use the JS doc comments to uh, as it would do to TypeScript types, for example. Um, so yeah, same thing happens here. If I put a message which is not a string, it will tell me that I'm returning the wrong thing. And if I'm using this on the component, it will tell me that I need to pass an argument. And the good thing is that the whole documentation is here and it takes like two minutes to write a documentation for a really complex function depending on your code editor. For example, on VS Code, I don't know, but uh, in in the other code editor that I use, which is the, the one from JetBrains, it's idea. Uh, I can just put the comment and let it do the job for me. Um, of course, sometimes I need to put like the correct params here. For example, this is a function, but um, it's pretty close to done. So it takes almost no time and it gives you the best, at least my, in my opinion, the best part of, of TypeScript, which is uh, telling you that you're doing something wrong. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I was going to show you. Um, if, if you have any comments or any suggestions or you want to see a more specific case for this, uh, I can make some other videos on JS Doc. Uh, I'm thinking at least one about um, exporting uh, d.ts files from JS Doc uh, comments, uh, which would help a lot of people that are migrating to TypeScript. So yeah, uh, anything just put in in the comments. I'll put a lot of references there as well, a lot of links. So be sure to check it and. See you next time.